Today on our 2016 Fiat 500X, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Inno Aero Crossbar roof rack system. We'll be using part numbers INXB100-108 for the 39 inch long and 42 inch long Inno Aero Crossbars. We'll be using part number INXS200 for the Inno Flush feet for the Aero Crossbars for the naked roof of our Fiat 500X. And finally, part number INK482 for the custom fit kit. This inner roof rack system is gonna allow us to carry roof mount accessories on our Fiat 500X. Things like bike racks, kayak carriers, roof mounted baskets, and much more. One of the things that sets this roof rack system apart from the others is its flush mount design here. The crossbars aren't going to hang over the side of your vehicle, they're gonna stop at the roof line. It features aerodynamic crossbars. These are gonna be a lot quieter than your traditional round or square bars. They're also gonna reduce the need for a fairing. They're gonna work with your standard clamp-on accessories. They'll also work with your T-slot accessories. That's gonna be located just underneath the cover. Unlike other crossbars where you have to remove or trim your rubber strip, that T-bolt is just gonna slide over the top and it's gonna give you a cleaner look. With the cover removed, I'd like to point out that our crossbars are held in place by four inno feet. The nice thing is, everything is contained underneath our cover and it is lockable. That way no one can remove our roof rack system from our Fiat. Each of the feet feature a rubber pad. That way they don't harm or scratch the roof of our Fiat. If you look over here, the fit hooks are specifically designed to fit our Fiat 500X. These two are rubber coated so they won't harm or scratch that finish. This roof rack system features an aluminum construction, so we don't have to worry about the elements causing any harm to it over time. Now it also has a weight capacity of 165 pounds total, so you will want to be sure to check with your Fiat's owner's manual to see if your roof can support that much weight. Now we'll give you some dimensions. This may help you when carrying specific accessories or when pulling in your garage. From the top of the roof to the underside of the crossbar is about two inches from the top of the roof to the top of the crossbar is about three and a quarter inches. Now that we've gone over some features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. I've already got the front crossbar installed on the Fiat 500X. Per our instructions, we took a measurement from the center of the two doors here, measured to the center, and got our placement on each side. The rear one installs very similar. Let's go ahead and get started and do it together. One side of our crossbar is ready to go. All we have to do is the other side. We'll turn our crossbar over and we want to slide out the slide here all the way until we get this empty box here. Then we'll take our adapter. We're gonna fit it in like so. It's got a little notched end here, just fits right in place. From there, we'll slide it all the way back in. We wanna hit this button here, slide it until we get it here. From there, we can grab one of our feet We'll need to unlock it so we can take off the top cover. Set that aside. And we'll take the whole mechanism and we're going to turn it upside down and line this T up here with the empty slot here. We'll set it in place and then we're going to push it back slightly, not all the way, till about there. Take our included tool and start tightening this bolt up here. Now we don't want to tighten it down all the way yet as we need to take a measurement. Now per our instructions, we need to be 19 inches from the base of our foot to the center of the bar. I've just made just a little small mark on my bar here. Let's scoot that out. Once we're at that 19 inches, we can go ahead and tighten that bolt down the rest of the way. Take our included tool and tighten that up. Now when installing this roof rack system on your Fiat, it's important that you understand that the front hooks and the rear hooks are different. That goes for the pads and the crossbar. So be sure to read your instructions and find out what goes where. Let's go ahead and continue. So we'll take our pad, it's very simple, we'll rest it on top and then just push it in place. Now let's install our hook. We'll take out our large bolt here bring in our hook, put that through, and go ahead and reinstall that bolt. We don't need to tighten this down all the way just yet, just get it started. And then we are ready to set it in place on the rear of our Fiat. 
Now when setting your crossbar in place, it's a good idea to make sure that both of your rear doors are open first. We want to make sure that the rolled portion of the crossbar is facing forward towards the front of our Fiat. The pointed end is going to be in the back. Then we'll just set it gently in place. So we'll grab our tape measure. We're going to measure from the center of the two doors. And per our instructions, we need to be 11 and a half inches to the center so we can measure to the bolt here. Just scoot it back a little bit. And that looks pretty close. Let's go ahead and do that for both sides. Now, another thing we need to be sure of is that the pad here is sitting on both sides of the channel. So we're gonna bring it back our way just a little bit. You basically just wanna make sure it's the same on each side. Now we'll grab our included tool. It's a very unique tool. It has a built-in torque device and it stows easy. Put it in place, it's magnetic, so it's not gonna fall out. And we wanna begin tightening down this bolt here. We don't want to tighten it down all the way just yet. We just want the bottom of that hook to make contact with the inside of the door. Let's go ahead and do that for both sides. With both sides making contact, we can go ahead and start tightening them down completely. You do still want to continue alternating between each side. When we get almost there, our tool will do its job and start clicking. That means we are properly torqued, and we need to be sure that happens for both sides. With everything tightened down, we can go ahead and close up our door and replace our cover. Just wanna be sure that it lines up properly. Slides on like so, and then we can just lock it up. And we're all set. We're ready to load up our favorite roof mount accessory and hit the road. And that's gonna complete our test fit of the Inner Aero Crossbar Roof Rack System on our 2016 Fiat 500X.